authenticator and SQL read only authenticator. Mumbai authenticator feature provided by the WebLogic server. What is embedded LDAP? And in the last tutorial, we have seen what is LDAP authenticator. So for this, you need a WebLogic server up and running, and you need to be have. Let's configure the authenticator uh, to access the external database. Uh, I'm going to stick to the control flag as an optional, which is default and in the provider specific. So here you see the data source name is provide uh, asked. That means like in LDAP authenticator, we have provided the username, passwords and host parities running in port number in, 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 in the text box. But for the databases, you need to configure in data source. I will show you how to configure data source in different tutorial. Uh, but for in this tutorial, for this tutorial, I have already configured a data source name Oracle DDS, which will, which will connect to my Oracle database uh, to access my data uh, tables and the groups and everything. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, uh, so here there are a lot of configure. There are a few configurations you need to do. Uh, first, I'm going to check the plain uh, plain text passwords enabled. Uh, this for just this is for just for testing purpose, but for the protection environment, please don't use this. Uh, so, you know, wh what is the necessary of this uh, checkboxes? Suppose if you have stored your uh, uh, stored the user passwords in the in your database uh, in a plain text, you need to check, you need to enable this checkbox. Otherwise, you no need to and the group member searching whatever it you want unlimited limited how much group search level and what is your password algorithm that means like uh, this one is for used for like when you create and uh, like uh, as this sql authenticator will have an option to create a user uh, so while creating user you will provide the passwords so if you if you select the algorithm or so or the so style so in that in the in that algorithm base the password will get encrypted and stored in the database okay and sql uh, i mean like getting the user's password you have to provide the query so by default they it come up with some query called select user password for from uh, from users where you name equal to so depending upon your table name and your column you can define it i'll 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 show you how it is and sql set user password in this page only the only the queries which is used to, which won't do any modifications in the database will be listed for SQL read only authenticator but for SQL authenticator uh, as we as we know that it will do both create delete I mean it will do a modification in the database so you can you can you have to provide the query for all other cases like removing the users and list and and now the groups listing the groups how to get the group membership all those things are in a query based only so it will be a straight a straight and easy easy way if you know that already know the SQL query Okay, once you entered it, you have to save it and and you have to restart the server to take effect. Now I have configured my SQL authenticator and restarted the server. So you can see the passwords like uh, I have changed the queries like select password from the user table where my name equal to and update and similarly for groups. Uh, groups and everything so like uh, so uh, what i'm going to do is like I'll, I'll put this configuration parameter in the 100 bytes.com uh, tutorial page uh, 
um, where you can copy paste to your config.xml i'll show you from where you can find uh, locate the config.xml so in the, go to the base domain config config.xml will be located okay and uh, open it so in the top of the config.xml you will find the authenticator providers in my case uh, this is ldap one which uh, which we configured in the earlier last tutorial so now it is an sql authenticator okay so you see here like all the queries like what are the queries i am going to i am using in the uh, in the configuration pay for the config, sql authenticator configuration is listed down here okay i'm going to paste this whole the uh, sql authenticator uh, in in the 100bytes.com page and the um, and the DDL queries which are used to create a tables in the database so you can reuse that one for your testing purpose so uh, like make sure you have the data sources which is created the same name or you can change it accordingly whatever your data source uh, uh, data source and you just like about if you if just if you created like let's say like if you created only the SQL authenticator but you didn't touch any provider specific so in that case you see only uh, these three flags uh, sorry uh, these three flags that is like a uh, SQL authenticator provider tag and the name and the control flag and all other things will be in empty so what you can do is you just copy paste from the tutorial page and you can you reuse it actually yeah so now we have configured the SQL authenticator let's let's try to access the user uh, let's try to access the user from the database so what you have to do go means like go to the uh, my realm users and groups so this will uh, this page will list list down all the users and groups uh, from the config authenticators as of now in my web logic server i have uh, like by default by default the default authenticator is configured ldap authenticator is configured uh, and for this video we have configured a db authenticator so what it's going to do is it's going to pull all the users and groups from all these three stores uh, so now our all the users gets pulled out from the stores uh, you can see here uh, it's like the users 100 bits db user is from the my database and 100 bits user is from the ldap authenticator you can see here default authenticator sql authenticator ldap authenticator all those things will be shown here so that means uh, the users from all your uh, id store get pulled out uh, when you try to access it and uh, you can see here the checkbox enabled uh, for these for the db users but there is no for the 100 uh, ldap users uh, let's try uh, let's access this 100 bits db user and see what is inside So here you can see the passwords. You can able to update because it is an uh, it is a read only it is a read write uh, configuration is enabled, and from which group what are the groups it belongs to. So all these all these things are all the uh, all these uh, details are pulled out based on your uh, queries which you configured in the SQL authenticator. Okay, now let's try to access the groups. You you see here the groups which is pulled out from the. Uh, LDAP authenticator and default authenticators are there. Let's see in the next page uh, whether the DB authenticator groups, uh, I mean, like uh, groups from the databases are pulled or not. And also, you note that there is no checkbox for the for the groups which is from the LDAP. You see that the group one, group two, uh, group three are from the DB. So you can see the corresponding thing is SQL ATN. So that means like all the groups are uh, pulled out from the different uh, id store let's get let's access this group one now so in the group one you see that i can able to update the description and uh, membership also get pulled these all these are again all these are depends upon your uh, based on your query which you configured in the um, which you have config which you have configured in the sql authenticator page i have already executed from the user table so I have these users 100 views which you have seen that let's try to access from the group so here you see here the group 1 group 2 group 3 are there which we have seen in the console page let's select let's see the group membership Okay, uh, and it executed. You see the group one. In the group one, these three uh, DB user, DB user one, user two, user three are part of group one. And group two, these are the things. So which we have. Let's see the group members of the group users in the console. 
okay 100 bits db user 1 groups so you see key 100 bits db user 1 is part of group 1 and similarly you can see here so these all so that means like our query whatever we configured in the sql authenticator is working fine now let's let's create a one user and one group from the console and it whether it's up, up, uh, reflected in the database or not actually so first i'm going to create a group okay click new button and give the group name so i'm going to give like a uh, weblogic db group okay and the provider will be uh, only the whichever the right uh, which, which are the authenticators which have the right permissions only enabled here so in this you see like there is no LDAP ATN though we have configured so I'm going to select SQL authenticator so this will create the group in the uh, SQL authenticator that means like the database which is configured to SQL authenticator uh, will get created I mean the group will get created in that uh, database now we will try to create a one user and assign that user to this group click new and uh, weblogic db user so here the authenticator is sql authenticator and the password so let's let's now assign the membership uh, of this user to a group uh, which we created now that is weblogic db group open the weblogic db user and go for the groups so you see that the which one we created weblogic db grp which get uh, uh, listed down here and click save so now we have created a group user and assigned that user to this group let's verify this whether it has created in the database or not so i'm going to execute this query again so in the result you see here weblogic db user is there and you see that sha1 as i was saying that in the web, uh, configuration page depending upon your algorithm sha1 whatever it is it get encrypted and these are all uh, these are the user uh, these users are in a plain text and this one is encrypted on these two users and i didn't provide any description so it comes as a null and let's see groups groups yeah see that weblogic db group is created and see the let's see the membership for the weblogic db group you see weblogic user db user is assigned so in this case like our read, uh, read and write write mechanisms are working uh, fine with sql authenticator okay now uh, so so in this so now we have seen that how to retrieve how to see the use uh, use and group and the main purpose of this uh, configuring this to use for authentication purpose let's see uh, let's try to use one of the user from the db uh, i mean the database which we configured uh, for authentication purpose i have already deployed on one application called uh, uh, auth project which is a simple web application which has an index page uh, where form based authentication is uh, used for uh, authentication purpose and in that uh, like in that i have already configured a role called a test role uh, so whoever part of the test role is access this like a 100 bytes db user 1 and 100 bytes user this user is from the ldap and this user is from db only these two users can able to access this uh, access this application let's try to access this first so i'm going to open a new private window our project yeah now it asks for a challenge like whatever the credentials you have to give so my user pa i mean like a db user and password and login yeah now the success so we are able to use uh, access the protected resource uh, that's it about the sql authenticator and sql read only authenticator this is the way you have to configure it uh, for more tutorials uh, please visit 100bytes.com uh, thanks for watching this video thank you